Shelby Bonney, and I'm the host of the Innovator Series, which is brought to you by Technology for Obama. And I'm here with David Warren, who's the co-founder and CEO of PATH. Such a pleasure to be with you. Great to be here. So we talked in the last segment a little bit about your background and, and kind of how you got where you got. Um, I'm just curious on the question of innovation. So you've been at Apple, you've been at Facebook, and now PATH, three of the most innovative companies that are doing things in the Valley. And I'm just curious your thoughts on what are the conditions that kind of make innovation happen? Well, I think that um, in America we're lucky to have uh, a system that's you know set up that uh, allows for entrepreneurs to start companies without fear of failure. Uh, one of the greatest things about America is that we have uh, you know a, a fantastic legal system and uh, you know a, a process around bankruptcy that allows the entrepreneur to start uh, a company without the fear of failure. And, uh, and almost America has this incredible uh, uh, embrace of failure, which is so wonderful, right? Because a big part of the innovation process is failing, right? A lot of people remember uh, the success of the iPod and the iPhone and the Mac but they also uh, sometimes forget the failures of the cube and you know many other things. Uh, at Facebook, we went through many different um, successes. We had uh, you know different um, you know different products like uh, photos and Facebook events that were huge successes, and uh, products like Newsfeed, which out the door were massive you know failures. But over time, people began to realize these things are really great. And so, one of the great things about America and about Silicon Valley as a part of America is that. We embrace failure, and we have a system that's set up to enable entrepreneurs to take risks, to um, you know, to fail in smart ways, and to learn from that, and to you know, continue to build, uh, and uh, without the fear of sort of being cast out of society or out of the country. Right. Um, and and so you know, I think that America is really the um, is really the the uh, the 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 safety net which provides you know, this ability for entrepreneurs to be successful. And there's, I think sometimes there's a conception among a lot of people that, that innovation happens kind of a single person. It's a single person sitting in their office and like, bing, has an idea, the Steve Jobs of the world or the Mark Zuckerbergs. Is that the case or is it different than that? I think it's very different. Um, you know, my job as an entrepreneur and as a CEO is to build a great company. And a great company is, uh, uh, is really just a collection of people that are all working towards a goal of some kind that, uh, you know, in our case, we want to help people be closer to the people that they love, right? Um, in Apple's case, it's, you know, to deliver these incredible uh, and innovative products and tools which sort of um, help people to be creative, to, you know, to make things and uh, to sort of reach their potential, right? At Facebook, it was really to, you know, make the world a more open place to help people connect and to share in ways that they'd never really uh, th thought possible, right? And really, your job as an entrepreneur and as a CEO is to enable that environment, is to recruit people, to find many different people, and to really help creativity blossom inside of the company, which, you know, what that means is that your company uh, is creating many, many ideas, right? And your job at the end is not necessarily to uh, provide all the ideas. Um, I think you should know where you're going, but um, to actually act as an editor. Uh, to sort of look at all of the different ideas in a company and sort of say, you know, this is the right idea for where we're trying to go today, right? And I think that that's, um, that's really what the innovation process is about, is it's about creating a company that's so vibrant and so full of ideas and creativity that your job as CEO um, uh, becomes um, really just choosing the right idea for the right time. And um, I think that that's, that's, that's what you know, creating an innovation process is really all about. Well, that's great advice and it's a pleasure and, and we look forward to talking to you more, so thank you.